Good evening and welcome to uh, an update for Rosens Hill. Um, this might be the last one for about three or four weeks for various reasons, um, and, but we'll do a catch up then. So, a um, couple of little developments, most important one down the front. So, uh, one of the big changes, rather than go and build another station which was going to be identical to the one we'd already got on uh, Rosens Hill, we've cut the um, step off the back of Rosens Hill and now stuck that on there as our mainline station. Um, as you can see, it works quite well. Uh, I don't know if Douglas can zoom in on our figure because that's one of the other things we've done. Uh, classic rail, as always at Ticehurst, went and saw Richard the other day. So we've got a little porter figure there and we'll show you some other figures now which we've stuck on. So, uh, what we have here is a lovely little wedding party. I managed to get a bride and groom figure and we've got some congregation there. So that's going to look quite good. And if Douglas just whips over a bit, we've got a couple of old ladies sat on a bench watching um, the War Memorial. Uh, and a farmer. Excellent. And while Douglas is doing the roam around, we can show the little field at the front. So we've added that bank now. Douglas has um, scattered that tonight. And then we've worked on a couple of bits of detail, which we'll come around and show you. Um, so I've just started putting the coping stones on the top of the wall there. And if we have a little look at the bridge, I've got um, coping stones over the actual tunnel mouth and um, on the top of the bridge. And we'll also at some point in this video show you how we made some of these uh, tunnel mounts. And then obviously the big change is on the top. So you can see the big change at the top is we've added the little hill that's going to hide the 009. So we've got our final layer built in there. Just the usual corrugated cardboard all hot glued and taped together. And you can also see um, the proposed layout now of what's going to happen up here. So we've got our station building on our platform. We've got water tower, engine jet, coaling stage, signal box. This will be the museum area. We'll have some tracks with some locos and a big museum building and then possibly a bridge over and down. And then I just want to show you a little bit of construction around the back and then we're going to talk a little bit about some of the materials and construction methods we've used and how we built the tunnel portals. So this might look a bit like a bombed building in Syria, um, but it just shows you the three different layers now of the uh, baseboard, all made out of cardboard. And if Douglas pans a little bit to the left, you can just see some of the more preparatory work that we've done over the back here. Uh, and then we're just gonna, I just wanted to talk a little bit, people, people have asked about how we build things. So I just wanted to come around the front really and show you how we build a couple of the things that we've done. Just going to show as part of this video how we do tunnel mounts and things. There's one finished here, so if Doug comes around here, I'll just show a neat little trick that we use. So I know that my tunnel mouth's got to be four and a half centimetres square, and I've drawn here two four and a half centimetre lines. And all I do to uh, do the top of the tunnel mouth is get a mug out of the kitchen cupboard, put it there until it lines up with the two lines, and make a mark. And there you've got a curved tunnel mouth, which is how we did these uh, on the rest of the layout. So we don't get too complicated, don't need compasses and all that sort of thing. And I'm just going to mark out the rest of this one and cut it out, and then we can film you, film it putting it on. So again, fairly simple, parallel line there. I know I want it one and a half, so it's got to be about seven. Top of the ruler seven. Top of the ruler seven. And then I'll obviously just cut that out. So not very complicated, hot glued. Just gonna put it there. Check the clearances for my wagon. Oops, yeah, she's fine. And there we go. And then you can see the rest later when it's finished. So um, people asked how we did the retaining wall around the back of the station. And what I used is this. This is Metcalf card brick paper, if you see what I mean, rather than the super quick paper. It is a lot more expensive. It's six pound for eight sheets, something like that. But I obviously don't buy that, pay that. I buy them secondhand for about one pound 50 or two pound a pack. 
Um, because we're not building a prototype, we can use whatever card we have. I've only used a few sheets of this to do all the walls we've done. What they've done is they're mounted on this relatively thin corrugated cardboard that will bend. So that's what we've run to make the shape, and then this is put over the back of it. So that's how we've done the retaining walls. And then when we get a bit more time later, we'll go and do a bigger video showing you some of the techniques that we've used. But thank you for watching, um, and we'll do an update again in a few weeks' time. Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.